My reason, my reason for being mad with him, how you gonna call my woman then turn around and call my child that I had with her a bastard? You married to him? Do it matter? <laughs> She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. Yesterday on Divorce Court, Santana confronted Jamie about cheating on her with their next door neighbor. Okay. Now, Miss Flowers, you tell me why he's a cheater and a liar. Give me an example or a story example, that'll make me believe she's that. right here. She's the reason we're here. She was our neighbor. Father. So you're talking Ms. Vickers. You're saying Ms. Vickers is her. what separated the two of them. Yes, again. because he decided that he wanted to cheat with her while I was pregnant. Do your job. But Jamie says Santana pushed him into the arms of another woman. When me and Santana got together, the relationship went downhill after we said I do. I, one, I'm not happy with her, but I'm not happy with her for a multitude of reasons. Give we me a come couple home, of them. We come home, you won't clean. But you too tired. And today, the courtroom drama continues when Santana's new boyfriend and Jamie go head to head. Hey, 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 you, bro. Hey, 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 it ain't nothing. Hey, hey, it ain't nothing. Hey, 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 no. hey, hey, no. hey, it ain't hey, nothing. Take it. And what will the results of the DNA test reveal about who's really the father of Santana's daughter? She looks just like him. She does kind of look like you. She looks I got just two other kids, like you know, him. Everything. Well, do you want to know? <laughs> yeah, I want to know. That's what I'm here. Mr. Jones. Today, in the conclusion of this special two-part session of Divorce Court. Ms. Vickers, I'm gonna talk to you again. How do you figure you did not play a role in the, in the destruction of their marriage when you're sleeping with one of the partners? That's the part I don't that get. That wasn't her fault, that was mine. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to her. <laughs> I take full responsibility for it. I'm talking to her. Because I didn't know that they were married. And then once you did, what did you do? That's the I, day you became responsible, correct? The, okay, when I found out about it, I told him, I said, why did you, I asked him, I said, why did you tell me that you was married? And what did he say? He said, because we were getting divorced. Another lie? Man, you went with that one. <laughs> you know, they all do, no. right? They, <laughs> nobody says the marriage is, yeah, you know, and they all tell you they're gonna get a divorce. Yeah. You know, that's, it, it's, it, nothing else ever happens. So, Mr. Anderson, you say that you believe that he has failed as a father to his daughter. I know he has. Why don't you tell me what you've seen him do or fail to do that leads you to believe that? What I know he failed to do is when you let your wife mm -hmm. and your child come to a state, even though she got family, by herself, and you stay your behind in another state, not coming with her to take care of her and put, her in a, put, put a roof over your child and your woman head, you failed. What is your response to that, Mr. Jones? Walk a mile in my shoes. Ooh, Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones. Stupid. So how do you figure? <laughs> you, it's like, ain't nobody stupid. Hey, ain't nobody stupid. Hey, 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 you're stupid. Just, let me talk to you first. You better yeah, relax. Uh-oh. Oh. You scary. You settle down. <laughs> I don't know who she's scared. She ain't scared me. Oh, baby, you ain't crying. Once you found out he I was married. I'm classy, baby. I don't get hurt by him, bro. Mr. Anderson, that ain't number Mr. Anderson, come on now. I'm Look, showing you respect, calling I'm you by your last I'm name. You're, 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 you're disrespect you disrespect my court and you disrespect me when you jump out from behind there to act like a hood right in front of me. That's, That's disrespectful. That's Don't do that. Lie. You're gonna take off your jewelry now like you guys gonna spar. <laughs> Let me tell you something about that. <laughs> Just so that's so junior high. Let that go. We're grown people mm -hmm. with children at home. We're trying to resolve issues of the heart and money and finances and future. And you guys are gonna, you know, throw down over this. This was said and that was said. Come on now. No, it's, it's that's not, not, it's not who just we are. That, Yana. Yana, I apologize for disrespecting, but it's not just that. What See, is my it? reason, my reason for being mad with him. How you gonna call 
My woman didn't turn around and call my child that I had with her a bastard. Ooh. You married to her? Do it matter? Hey, 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 Mr. Anderson, Mr. That's Anderson, question, Mr. Anderson, let, let me say this. If you allow what other people say to you to determine your actions, you are putting your life in their hands. You're mm -hmm. saying to me that he is in control of what you do and where you go, because you hit him in here, you're going to jail. Right. And you're saying he can speak a few words and determine what the six, next six months of your life is. Is that what you intended to do? You no, but I, I don't appreciate you, him disrespecting my daughter. You can say anything to me, Mr. Anderson. But he disrespected my daughter saying it that. It doesn't though. matter. It doesn't matter. This is stupid. No. It doesn't matter. It, you can call me a name. Nothing will happen. I don't care what you say about me, but when it comes to my child, it's a whole different. It's a whole different category. No, it's not a whole kid category. It, You're still grown. It is. You're still. No, it's not. No, it's not. You you think it is, but it's not. It's all just words. And you you make a decision whether or not those words will will command you. That's it. He could talk about your mama. He could talk about your kids. He could talk about anything, but they're still just words. That's right. And as long as the words doesn't stick them up, there's nothing you need to do about it. When Divorce Court continues, does Jamie have a good excuse for not having seen his daughter in three years? Well, why can't you visit? Thank you. Why can't I visit? Thank you. First of all, I didn't lose nothing in Alabama. When we got together, you got we a made my child. In Alabama. When we made my child, we made my child in Florida. Make problems? I'm feeling your pain. Call me toll free at 1 877 311 2222. Or visit our website at divorcecourt.com and become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Santana Flowers, who is divorcing her husband after discovering he was sleeping with their next door neighbor. Ms. Vickers, I'm gonna talk to you again. How do you figure you did not play a role in the in the destruction of their marriage when you're sleeping with one of the partners? That's the part I don't that get. That wasn't her fault, that was mine. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to her. I take full responsibility for it. And later, the DNA results are in. Well, do you wanna know? <laughs> yeah, I wanna know, that's what I'm here. Do you feel that you have done right by your daughter? I feel like my daughter has been taken out of my life. <laughs> I was living in, I moved to Tallahassee right. to be closer. Her grandma oh. lives in Tallahassee, my mom. Right. When I informed Santana that I was in Tallahassee, right. made no initiative to come to Tallahassee, which is an hour and a half drive. Uh huh. But when she was court ordered for a DNA test, oh, you can come two hours, but you can't come an hour and a half to bring me to see my daughter? But can you I got say, transportation. Can I say something? But you can't come bring my child to see me. Can I but say something? But you want all the world out of me. Uh -huh. But you ain't Do willing you pay to get child anything. Support? Nothing. Child support? No, I, Nothing. I pay for the right for her to go. No, stop. Would you let that man okay. speak, please? I will. I will. When she, when we started this, she ain't got me on child support the first. Uh-huh. When we started this, yeah, when she even chose to move up there, and I was with Koisha, because I told Koisha, I can't even be together with you while she's here. The day she left was leaving, went to her sister's house. I went to Koish house. Uh -huh. When she came and got the money from me, I was at Koish house. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The day she left the apartment, she came back. I told her once you hit that door, you out that door. What did that I door turn? Oh, that door not turning. Turn lock again. I'm done with you. I wash my hands of you. But Don't you didn't wash your hands of your daughter, did you? Yes. <laughs> my daughter? Yes. If you can bring my daughter over to Florida, just come visit. Or oh, you can go. You can go anywhere in the world you want to go, but you can't bring me to see my daughter. Then what am I supposed to do? Well, why can't you visit? Thank you. Why can't I visit? Thank you. First of all, I didn't lose nothing in Alabama. When we got together, got we made my child. In Alabama. When we made my child, we made my child in Florida. We didn't make my child in Alabama. Did you know something, Mr. Jones? Sounds stupid, don't it? <laughs> I was stupid, Phil. My child stupid, in a period. state, me in another state. I don't care. I'm not going to have any reason why I can't get there other than I'm physically not able. If she got transportation and I don't honor, what why makes you so easy for her? Why, is, no. why is my responsibility, I, I, my responsibility don't you to want to see the baby? No, no, he don't care. First of all, Matter the, fact the question is the child's mind or not is in the air. So you, the transportation 
is we in don't the air. have one. I don't, if I had transportation, I would get there. Is that well, my even fault? Well, even if I even called her about it, I told her, well, I'll come in there and pick her up and bring her back with me. She'll stay a couple weeks with me. Oh, my child ain't going nowhere. But it's my child, too. I would say this, Mr. Jones. It, I don't know about you, Joe, but if... It, if somebody had my kid in another state, whether or not she brought him to me or not, I'd go see him because I'd want to. I made the effort when I moved to Tallahassee. But you still didn't come to the Alabama. Was there. I moved 300 miles, 300 miles to get closer just so I could see my daughter. It's not and when I told her I'd come get my daughter, when the transportation was what offered to that? come get my daughter right. and then take her back, right. oh, no, she ain't going with you nowhere. I said that well, when she said he... that, I no. that why did you right say that? I said that because he waited till my baby was one years old. After her birthday, he said he was coming for her birthday. He said, oh, I'm going to come get her. First of all, a one-year-old don't know who he is. She, he mm -hmm. ain't seen her since she was two months. I'm just going to give my child to a stranger mm -hmm. because that's what he is to her. But I'm supposed a to give, stranger. I'm supposed to give everything I he got to a stranger. He is a stranger. When Divorce Court continues, Judge Lynn gives a lesson on integrity. When I went to school when I was a little girl, 1964, all white school. They used to call me the N-word every day. Every time I told my daddy, you know what he said? What are your grades? Irrelevant. What? These people can now all sit there. Everybody who called me that word are sitting at home on their television waving at me. Uh-huh. <laughs> if you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311 2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Jamie Jones, who says he wants a DNA test to prove his three-year-old daughter is truly his child. Like I said, she took a trip to Alabama. Uh -huh. So you uh -huh. might think it's his? What you well, think? Let me tell you, look, with a person that's willing to go with this one, Friendly as hell, why wouldn't I think anything else? Because you're stupid, that's why. Wait, Mr. Anderson, I'm gonna let you speak and then I'm gonna ask Mr. Jones a question then we're gonna move forward to, okay. to find some resolution here mm -hmm. at some point. Mr. Anderson, what is your question, sir? Or what did you wanna say? What I wanted to say is this, um, with, with Jayla, every day she get up, she comes to me. She calls me dad out of her mouth. In front of any and everybody she with, she calls me dad. I take care of her ever since I've been in that house with her. And that child, I've been taking care of her. Look at I brought her baby. Up. She looked just like I've him. I've been buying that little girl she everything. She like him. She I got just two other kids, y'all. Like everything. Him. And they look just like me. My first child, I had a DNA too. Mm -hmm. She the was mine, and I've done what I was supposed to do ever since. <laughs> well, do you want to know? <laughs> yeah, I want to know. That's what I'm in. Because <laughs> he's definitely been screaming on the phone. <laughs> Mr. Jones, <laughs> Jayla is your daughter. 99.9999999999%. Okay? <laughs> now the question becomes, what are we going to do about it? I want to come. Well, what, what, what are the five of us going to figure out to do about it? I have told him when he said he was going to come get Jayla, I said, no, let's meet at a mutual place. And well, you can come meet, and, and, and so she can know you. Is it other than you, tell her It I doesn't to, matter. I told you we can meet halfway. Me. I and told him that. I told him Alabama that. Alabama is an hour and a half drive. It's a four right. and a half drive okay. out from me. Ms. Vickers and, and Mr. Andrews, and you both can have a seat. Me. Thank you very much for coming forward. I appreciate it. Now, now, now everybody's uh, separated from the people they don't like and hooked up with the people they like. We got to let that go mm -hmm. and let that live where it is. And, 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 and I'm not going to dig at it anymore because I, I don't want any more sparks to fly because it's not necessary. I will say this to you. No matter what happens in the future, at no point is anything that anyone says to you reason enough for you to ball up your fist because that makes you a weak person. Mm -hmm. Some grown men just need spanking. <laughs> oh, I see <laughs> there. They just up to it. They got, they got prisons that make money off of mindsets like that. They incarcerate you and they make the cash, no, and, then, gonna, and then the ladies gonna, are alone. You're gonna explain to a man all day, but if he's not gonna get it, then he doesn't get it. Then sometimes, then sometimes so then he, it, he then it sends you to jail, Mr. Anderson. If he doesn't get it, he doesn't get it. You know, but when I went to school when I was a little girl, 1964, all white school. They used to call me the N word every day. Every time I told my daddy, you know what he said? What are your grades? Irrelevant. What? These people can now all sit there. Everybody who called me that word are sitting at home on their television waving at me. Uh-huh. <laughs>
That's right. <laughs> I did not respond to what was said. I lived my life in the way that I want to live it. Mm -hmm. They call me inward all day long. Look at this end now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you should live. When Divorce Court continues, will Judge Lynn award Santana the transitional money she claims she's entitled to? Tell me about the transitional because support. Because I, I didn't have a job, and I had his daughter, so I had to move and get another place to stay and take care of his daughter without any support. He gave me nothing. Divorce Court returns with the case of Santana Flowers, who is divorcing Jamie, her husband of four years, after learning he had an affair with their next-door neighbor. But Jamie claims his marriage was doomed from the start, and Santana pushed him into the arms of another woman. Mr. Anderson, my understanding is that you would like him to, to, to uh, relinquish custody in order to adopt her so she can carry your last name. Is that accurate? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Oh, I was told that. That's why I asked for the DNA. Okay. Yeah, so I take it you're not willing to do that? Uh, no. I'm I don't not know willing why. to release nothing that's mine. Yeah, I, I wouldn't either if I were you. Uh, let's end this. I'm going to say what I'm going to say. You guys are going to do what you're going to do. But if, if you can just remember one thing, I'm going to ask you to remember one thing and walk away with it, and then maybe this day wouldn't have been a total waste. I want you to tell me about the $12,000 you're seeking to uh, have me award you from him for transitional support. Explain it to me. Because I, I didn't have a job, and I had his daughter, so I had to move and get another place to stay and take care of his daughter without any support. He gave me nothing. I think $500 a month is nothing for what I had to do for Jayla by myself for two years. It's not my fault that he could not see Jayla. It's called the state line. It's not. Runs between I Alabama don't care. And Georgia. I'm taking care of Jayla. Jayla mm. knows I'm her mother. Right. You know. She don't know Jay. It's a but state you don't line know. Runs between I Jordan told him. I told him. I said, let's meet at a mutual place so you can meet your daughter because she doesn't know you. I'm not just going to give my baby to a stranger because that's what he is to her. Okay. And I said, let's I meet. Got 99 I got you. I got you. I got He'll you. Say I got she you. Ain't a stranger. Now, Mr. Mr. Jo Mr. Jones, let, let, let me ask you this. Would she know you if she saw you? Your Honor, I haven't seen my daughter three years old and she's three so, now. So, so you know, know I she... Wouldn't, so... I wouldn't think she would. Yeah. But yeah. still, she's my child. Yeah, I get that. Oh, I get that. And, and, and I'm not denying that, but, but, but here are the practicalities of the matter. <laughs> you can't give a three-year-old to somebody who doesn't know her without giving her some time to meet you. And if you, you. take her out of another state, how is you giving that chance to even let that I time? understand that, but you have to make extra effort to go see her. Mm -hmm. And, like, she could make extra effort to bring her she to She could, but, she's, but she hasn't. So it lies on you. That's your daughter. You want to claim her? You want to name her? Mm -hmm. She's yours. It means something to you. If you're dealing with a fool or an idiot, I'm not saying you're a fool or an idiot, but we just won't put it out there like uh -huh. that. You're dealing with a fool or an idiot. Well, she's dictating to you the nature of your relationship with the daughter you know is yours and you love and you want to keep and don't want to deliver. So who's the man? Mr. Jones, my heart to your heart. Do right by her, okay? Oh, I have. Yeah. But, but, you know what I'm talking about. I am. You know what I'm talking about. Even, no matter how wrong she is, you do right by your daughter. I'm not giving anybody anything. You've been separated for two years. You've made it on your own. Mm -hmm. you, have, you have set up house with another man. No way in the world I'm going to ask this man to help you in your transitional support to live with that man. You, however, are entitled to child support, and I would pursue that uh, as a matter of course. Having said that, I will say that this matter is adjourned and there will be no recovery. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. I think he could, you could do better with taking care of your child. I, I don't have to bring her to you. I don't understand why you feel like I need to bring Jayla to you. You ask for money, you ask you, for this, ask you, for that. I need to, to take care of your child. Right. So you when am I going to get life, it? Right? When am I going to get it? I want to see my child, spend time with my child, and do things for okay, my child, Okay, but too. your child needs shoes, diapers, my wipes, clothes. My child needs to be in my life, too. What, can you do all of that? Koisha shares that after years of Jay not seeing his daughter Jayla, they are finally in touch every night via video chat. Koisha also mentioned that Jay is working towards flying to Alabama to see his daughter face to face.